Hello everyone, you are watching Diversity TV, bringing you the untold stories for the week of January 21st, 2022, in English and French, from our River Valley studio in Edmonton, Alberta's beautiful capital. Hosted by me, Amy Batum, professional translator and mediator. Sponsored by Razy Plumbing and Heating, now offering fantastic deals for water heaters and furnaces. Here are the stories we gathered for you this week. Segment 1. Premier Kenny suspends a minister, but opposition says stepping back is not the same as stepping down. The Alberta Justice Minister and Solicitor General, Casey Madu, called the Edmonton police chief after he got a ticket for distracted driving in a school zone in March 2021. Following that incident, Premier Kenny tweeted that he conveyed profound disappointment in Madu and asked that he step back from his duty as Justice Minister pending an independent investigation. Casey Madu must resign, said Ifan Sabir. But he continues. He cannot be on leave of absence or a paid vacation. He cannot sit in cabinet without a portfolio. Stepping back is not the same as stepping down. NDP justice critic Ifan Sabi. We will be seeking answers for you as more information comes to light in the investigation. Segment two, fashion and beauty time on diversity TV this week. Most women have been combing their hair the wrong way. As Fatou Tao, founder of natural hair products called Njia Asili, shows diversity TV fashion and beauty host and minor how to comb her hair. The first fashion and beauty show comes up on February the 2nd, 2022. So, watch out. You may want to check out Njia Asili's website, www.njiasili.com. And when you want to comb your hair, mm -hmm. always start from the end, right? Okay. Because you don't want to start from the root, and if you encounter... Uh, I'm not. Exactly, you're just going to pull. No, this is sabotaging your, your yourself. Yeah, right? And creating breakage that e you don't want. Exactly, mechanical yeah. breakage. So now I'm coming from, through your hair. I just took a small section, and like it's way easier than uh, when we started without the products. I'm so surprised. It's going on like... You're combing as smoothly as it would with, <laughs> like, drenched in water in the shower. So, yeah. there's something happening. That's awesome. Segment three. Business news this week. Support local is very important to the survival of our local businesses. Ways you can support local without spending any money can be... Leaving positive reviews of the places and services you love on social media and online. Or just subscribing to their mailing list. Let's take you on a tour of some local businesses in Edmonton and Calgary. Unlimited high-speed internet at an affordable price with no contract to sign and no credit check. That's Cloudstar. Downloads as fast as one gig and the option of connecting to our fiber network to enjoy uploads of the same speed. At Cloudstar, technology is our passion, and we believe that the quality of our service is measured by what you get out of it. Revolutionize your relationship to internet, cable, home phone, and smart security 
with CloudStar. Segment four, celebrating exceptional achievement and contributions made by Calgarians. Nominations are open for the 28th annual Calgary Awards. Awards categories include Citizen of the Year, Grand Mac Iwan Lifetime Achievement, Arts, Heritage, Commerce, Community, Advocate, it can be an individual or an organization. Education, youth, environmental, international achievement, accessibility. Nominate today at www.calgary.ca slash Calgary Awards. Segment five, what do we have for diversity international news? Indonesia's pal parliament has passed a bill to relocate the nation's capital from Jakarta to a jungle area on Borneo Island. The new city's name is Nusantara, a Javanese name for the Indonesian archipelago. Segment six, what do we have for food this week? Mm. It's still holidays at Monami Resto with spicy goat and fried plantain at 13427 Fort Road in Edmonton, Alberta. To order, call 587-525-2477 or just go to www.monamiresto.com. Segment seven, the inclusion project. Get to know about the inclusion project, making equity, diversity, and inclusion a competitive advantage in your organization and how your organization can lead with it. To be considered for diversity awards, please send us your EDNI journey at www.diversitymag.ca slash the inclusive. Inclusion news this week focuses on work for newcomers. On February 24, 2022, between 8 o'clock and 4 p.m., there will be a presentation on the new world of work as indicated of the theme of the online conference named Work 2.0, The Future of Work is Now. For more information, go to www.erec.ca. Segment 8. What do we have for community announcements this week? Get to know some of the employment programs offered by Solomon College in Edmonton. Please contact 780-431-1515 or info at solomoncollege.ca. And I'm here today to talk to you about three employment programs that Solomon College delivers. The first is our Connections to Employment program, uh, which focuses on preparing newcomers to work in the retail sector. 
Secondly, we have our Food Service Supervisor Preparation Program, which supports newcomers to develop skills to work in the food services sector. And our final employment training program is our Quest Key Workplace Essential Skills Training Program, which is designed to help newcomers build uh, warehouse technology skills to work in the warehousing sector. Are you a Mexican? Do you live in Edmonton? And do you have graphic design skills? The Mexican Society of Edmonton Management Team has a position available for a volunteer graphic designer. The volunteer will work on communication and marketing projects, creating social media graphics, leaflets, web banners, and more. If you are interested in this position, please send them an email via their Facebook page or email them at info at Mexican Society at Monton.org. I have been waiting for something that I can work with other black women. These words are those of Aisha Amin, a participant in her Konomi business pre training program. A journeyman welder who also owns an arts business and wants to grow her business. She shared her vision with Diversity Magazine on January 15 at the launch of her economy program. Hi, I'm Aisha Amin. I am participating in this program. Um, I'm a journeyman welder right now and I own a small art business. I would like to grow it um, because I know a lot of artists um, that would benefit working with my business. Um, I look forward to studying this program because I've been waiting for something where I can work with other black women and um, just generally other black folks and, uh, so, and collaborate and I think that's very beneficial. The launch event had some exciting speakers, a panel, discussion, and networking. Now, imagine what an extra $5,000 or $3,000 or $2,000 can do for your business. If you are a lady in business, this might interest you. Her economy, the program, and the pitch challenge. You want to know more about her economy pitch challenge as well as take part in the 12 weeks program to help you attract capital or grow your business among other things, go to www.imperialadvantage.com and click on the 12 week program link. He is the first guest of Discover Your Heritage show, a show whose first episode aired yesterday, January the 20th on Diversity TV. He is a former Edmonton Police Commissioner and former Chief Administrative Officer of an indigenous bound in Alberta in Canada. On October the 30th, 2021, Kelly Tamakloy was crowned king and becomes Togbi Nyaho Tamakloy VI, Mafia of Anglo Kingdom and paramount chief of Komeshime in the Ewe Coastal Tribe in Ghana. You can still watch our first episode on Diversity YouTube channel hosted by Amy Batum. So, I guess uh, to top up with the Anglo Kingdom, uh, historically there are four rulers of the entire Anglo Kingdom. Okay. Uh, we have our, our Awomefia, who is the overlord king. And then we have the Miafiaga, who is the uh, left wing or the west wing king, which is myself. And then we have the middle uh, overlord, uh, the warlord, uh, who is called the Abadada. And then the right wing, we have the Dushifiaga. So there are four kings that, uh, that, uh, that uh, rule the Anglo kingdom. Uh, but recently, the government has made, uh, divided uh, the kingdom into paramounts. And so I'm also a paramount chief. Stay tuned for our next episode on Chinese Lunar New Year. Vous êtes bien sur Diversity TV. 
Mon nom est Amy Batoum, votre traductrice et médiatrice professionnelle pour tout problème familial et autres. Voici un sommaire de l'actualité de votre journal du vendredi, le 21 janvier 2022. Le premier ministre Kenny a suspendu un ministre. Mais selon l'opposition, suspendre ne veut pas dire démission. En mars 2021, le ministre de la Justice et solliciteur général de l'Alberta, Casey Madou, a appelé le chef de la police d'Edmonton après avoir reçu une amende pour conduite indélicate dans une zone scolaire. Après cet incident, le premier ministre Jason Kenney a fait part de sa profonde déception à l'endroit de M. Madou et l'a suspendu temporairement de ses responsabilités de ministre le temps d'une enquête indépendante, comme cela arrive souvent dans ce cas. Mais pour l'opposition, notamment le, le critique du NDP, Arfan Sabir, que Simado doit démissionner. Il ne peut pas juste être mis en congé administratif ou des congés payés. Il ne peut pas non plus faire partie du gouvernement sans avoir un portefeuille. Suspendre n'est pas la même chose que démissionner. Ce sont, ces mots sont de Arfan Sabir. Comme nous l'avons dit plus tôt, critique du ministre de la Justice du NDP. Nous vous tiendrons informés au fur et à mesure que les informations de l'investigation seront rendues publiques. Dans notre coin beauté aujourd'hui, mesdames, et si je vous disais que nous ne savons pas nous peigner les cheveux, me croirez-vous? Oh, pourtant oui. Fatou Tao, la créatrice de la gamme des produits Njia Asili, a montré à Anne Maina la présentatrice vedette du Diversity TV Fashion and Beauty Show, comment se peigner les cheveux. Écoutons plutôt. Vous voulez en savoir davantage sur les produits Njia Asili? Alors, euh, visitez euh, son site web au www.njiaasili.com. Le premier épisode du Fashion and Beauty Show sera diffusé le 2 février 2022. Aussi, votre émission culturelle Discover Your Heritage est désormais sur notre chaîne YouTube. Ah oui, venez partager votre métissage culturel avec le reste du monde. Avant de clore ce journal, n'oubliez pas, aidons nos entreprises locales en achetant leurs produits. En un mot, consommons local. C'est bon pour notre économie. Et c'est bon pour nous. This is all we had for you this week. Thank you for watching Diversity TV Community Newscast. Be the first to get our news community newscast as it happened. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification on our Diversity TV YouTube channel. We are on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and TikTok. Our website is www.diversitymag.ca See you next week because when it's Friday don't forget it's your newscast from Diversity TV Thank you for watching